Okay, this is an introduction to Multisim 7. Alright, firstly, over to the right, I have my instruments toolbar. And if I just pass my cursor over the instruments, you'll just see the name of the different instruments. I have function generator, and we can move down to oscilloscope and so on. These are some of the more common instruments that you will use. Over to the left, I have my components toolbar and source. Uh, to introduce the software to you, I'm going to be building a simple series circuit. I'll start off by placing a resistor in the workspace. Select resistor and I'll be placing a 1 kilo ohm resistor. So I'll scroll up to find that. Now, once I've placed that on my workspace, I can select it or right click and I can rotate. I prefer to use my shortcut keys, so I use Control R. Next, I'll place a source, a DC source. You notice by default it comes up with 12 volts. What I'll do now is double click on this and I can change it to what I desire. I'll be using 5 volts. Alright, now to connect my circuit. I move the cursor to the tip of the components, click and click again. Here we go. And again. I can select the conductor and adjust it as I desire. Before I simulate, I'll have to place a ground on this circuit. So let's place that there. Alright, notice a junction was placed in the conductor where I joined the ground. You can also place a junction at any point in the circuit by right clicking in the workspace and select junction or you can place tests or whatever you desire. Alright, I'll be measuring current. So I'll be using first the multimeter, bring that over onto the workspace. Alright, current is measured in series, so I'll be breaking my circuit there. Alright. Now I double click on the instrument to see the instrument interface and select current, and it's already on DC. Now I'm ready to simulate. I can either press this button, the simulate button here, or I can go to simulate and select run or just press F5 okay that's my current alright I'll just stop the simulation now and I'll be removing the multimeter and I'll be using an indicator alright when I select indicator I'll be using an ammeter and I'll be placing that in my circuit once more in series to measure current. Alright, I'll simulate again. And there we go, 5 milliamps. Alright, next we will build some more complex circuits, some series parallel, and we do some other experiments with multi-sim. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.